When I look back to 08, I, I always remember the, the sense of fear and foreboding in, in, the, in the market. Lehman had just happened. People didn't know what was going to happen next, and everybody was sort of on the edge, thinking, which other bank will it drag something else down? The worry was systemic risk. If one bank collapses, they all collapse. And there was a real terror that everybody was going to withdraw their money from the Icelandic banks. If one person does it, everyone does it. Suddenly, the bank can't afford to repay, so it collapses. The thing the government in the UK needed to ensure was that all those savers could get access to their money. There was always the possibility of Kaupting's parent in, in Iceland bailing it out. But until that happened, it was just pure speculation. This job really kicked off big style, 6pm on the Friday, the 3rd of October. We got yet another call from Treasury saying, could you please go down for a meeting? These meetings, of course, had people from the Bank of England side, people from the Treasury side, and people from the Plan B side, and that's where we came in. We needed to start putting together a team of people who could be ramped up quite quickly. Now, we'd been there three or four times before, but this time was for real. We started doing the planning for two banks failing on the next week. That only gave us 24 hours, 36 hours to prepare. On the Tuesday, we were in court to put into administration a bank called Heritable Bank. At that point, it became very clear there's probably not going to be any other solution for Kaupting than administration as well. We got back to the office that day and were told another meeting tonight, 10 o'clock at the Treasury. The next day, Kaupting, one of the biggest banks, also went into a process. Two banks in two days is something quite unique in my experience. The scale of the problem we faced here was tremendous. We had a bank with tens of thousands of customers. We needed overnight, virtually, to give them access in another bank to the same money, the same information, the same accounts, in a seamless way, as if there was no problem at all, all in the middle of the biggest financial crisis we'd ever faced. We worked incredibly hard to ensure that that transfer was quick and was smooth. And that in turn meant that there wasn't a run on the bank and that people's confidence, at least partly their confidence in the banking system, wasn't as shattered as it could have been had that transfer order not been made. That avoided what would have been a systemic collapse of the financial system.